Howdy folks, as you can likely guess by what we're looking at here, we're going to be talking about tail rotors today, specifically proper tail rotor function. I don't know if more people have been taking up the hobby over the summer, but my question load on tail rotor problems has increased quite a bit this year. So hopefully that means uh, more newbies are taking up the hobby, which is always a great thing. Uh, first off, if you don't really know much about tail rotor function on a helicopter, I encourage you to uh, take a peek at my torque and yaw page on my website. I'll link to it below down in the description there or up in the little card doodad up in the corner here. What I want this video to cover though are the four primary questions that I've been that people seem to be having problems with and that is uh, spin direction, getting that set right, uh, the blade mounting, that's pretty straightforward but it's easy to get it wrong if you're rushing. Um, three is the pitch slider direction so the helicopter is yawing in the correct direction given uh, you know for your stick movement on your radio and the biggest problem most people have is setting their gyro correction direction right not too sure how to uh, do that so hopefully if you've got any of those four issues this will help you out so first thing is the spin direction now this is the back of the helicopter back here front is towards uh, this way main rotors here so what you want to see for spin direction is as your main rotors are spinning you always want to see the front half of your tail rotor moving up and the trailing edge moving down and the back half moving down and the reason for that is you've got you've got uh, rotor wash air coming down off the main rotor disc this way and as that air is moving down across the upward spinning blade you just increase the uh, efficiency of the tail rotor the only time that might or that wouldn't be the case is when you're flying inverted because when you're flying inverted you're actually pulling air up through the rotor disc but primarily <laughs> when you're flying right side up you've got better tail efficiency when this blade when the front one is spinning up towards the rotor the main rotor now this is a torque tube driven tail rotor with gearing impossible to really get that wrong uh, you can't get the gears in backwards or the torque tube in backwards. You're always going to see that front half of the tail rotor spinning up towards the rotor disc. But on a belt driven tail, you've got a 50-50 chance of getting it right or getting it wrong. Uh, depending on which way you've got that belt mounted on the tail shaft pulley will dictate which way this spins. So if you've got your bird set you know, built, and you spin your main rotor in its correct direction and you notice this is actually turning this way the front blade turning down and the back one turning up you've got to go in and swap twist that belt 180 degrees on that pulley so it's you've got the front blade turning up now the other one again just common sense stuff but when you're new to this or if you're in a rush I've even got it wrong the odd time when I've been in a rush mounting blades of course you want the leading edge of the tail rotor blade uh, you know spinning on, on the front direction of your spin and you want the trailing edge behind it so just ensure you've got the front in the direction of spin and make sure it's the same on both sides obviously uh, sometimes I've seen people they'll get one right but the other one's mounted backwards uh, get a really nice vibration when you do that <laughs> uh, so yeah it's pretty easy to see but if you've got a blade like these have got uh, these switch blades they've got identical graphics on both sides and if you get them if you swap it around just a quick glance you wouldn't notice it so blades with different graphics on either side it's super easy to notice but uh, so just be wary of that leading edge up in the direction of the spin now I'm just going to move the camera around to the back here so we're looking at the pitch slider we'll address the two questions on which way it should move with for stick movement on your radio and make sure your gyro is correcting in the direct, right direction. Now that we've got our tail rotor spinning in the right direction and the blades are mounted correctly, let's look at the pitch slider. And the pitch slider just slides back and forth on the shaft and that's what pitches the tail blades. So first thing is getting the correction direct or the correct direction for your given stick movement. So this is my rudder stick right here, left and right. So when you, on most helicopters, not all, but most, 
when you move the stick to the left, the pitch slider is going to move to the right. So stick left, pitch slider right, stick right, pitch slider left. Um, and if you want to think of this, kind of think of this as your swash plate in a way, on the horizontal, uh, whichever way this pitch slider moves is the way it's going to cause the tail to move. So when, the, when we give a right command and the pitch slider moves to the left, that's pulling the tail to the left, uh, which means the nose is turning right. So right stick, nose turns right, tail turns left. And same idea with left. Whatever direction that pitch slider moves, it's going to pull the tail to the right now, meaning the nose is turning left. Now, not all are like that, the majority are, but if you want to confirm it, the other way is to look at your actual tail blade pitch. Now, some people intuitively, they can look at the tail blade pitch angle and tell which way it's going to thrust, but if you're having difficulty figuring that out, you know, look at the tail blade edge on, and when the leading edge is in front of the trailing edge, that's which way it's going to move or thrust the tail. So when we've got a right stick command here, this tail is going to thrust in this direction. Okay. We're uh, give a right command. Leading edge is ahead of the trailing, and that's the direction it's going to thrust the tail or pull the tail. So tail pulling to the right, meaning the nose is turning to the left. So that's how you uh, set that up. If that was backwards, you'd go into your radio programming and just reverse the uh, the rudder channel or whatever channel you've got uh, your rudder stick hooked up to. So now that we've got that uh, figured out, the last one is the tail gyro correction direction. So when the tail moves, and one, if we if we manually move this tail. We want to see the gyro stop that movement. So let me just zoom out a bit because I don't I think we're going to have this be able to do this all in frame. I'm just going to move this over here. We're going to center the pitch slider. Now I'm going to manually move the tail this way, and what we're going to want to see that gyro doing is pitching the blade so it tries to move the tail back or counter it. So the pitch slider is centered now on the on the shaft. So we'll move it this way. I don't know if you can see, but the pitch slider has moved this way, which is correct. It's holding in pitch on the blades to try to bring the tail back. So we manually move the tail this way. It would be the same if a gust of wind hit or a torque spike hit. Tail tried to move that way. The gyro is trying to move it back. And we'll try to do this again. We'll center the pitch slider. We'll bring it this way. And hopefully we can see that the gyro has now corrected it that way. It's moved the pitch slider that way. So it's trying to pull the tail that way when we moved it this way. And if that wasn't correct, uh, the, biggest, the biggest thing that everyone will notice is the first time they spool up, as soon as you start getting light on the skids uh, and the friction between the ground and the helicopter is released, and if your gyro correction direction is wrong, as you can imagine, Instead of correcting for it, it'll actually be correcting in the opposite direction, so it'll start spinning wildly, pirouetting wildly. So if, you, if you're getting light on the skids and your helicopter starts, starts spinning wildly, pirouetting wildly, with no control whatsoever, uh, nine times out of ten, you've got your gyro correction set wrong. And you would set that per your gyro manual. Most fly barless units that you set up in a uh, setup wizard on your computer, there'll be a there'll be a menu in your, or there'll be a selection in your uh, tail gyro menu to set the direction. Uh, tail gyros with um, LED sequences, you can set them up that way too. Uh, just follow your instructions in your gyro manual to change the uh, correction direction. And that's about it. The only other thing that probably should know about is uh, setting your end limits on your tail gyro. So you won't basically want it, of course, so the pitch slider moves the full throw of the uh, shaft there without binding. If it was binding, you know, you'd get your, your tail servo would start buzzing.
if it was binding. So you'd set it just to the point where the tail servo starts to sing a little bit and then just back it off. So that's, uh, that's tail, proper tail setup or pr what you should see your tail doing. Hopefully that helped, uh, helped you out if you're having a problem with that. Cheers folks.